College Glen Little League just had an opening day recently. And what does that mean? That means the spring real estate market is upon us in College Glen. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your College Glen real estate specialist. I have been living in College Glen for over 12 years, been selling real estate for almost 17 years now. I love working with buyers and sellers in my neighborhood in College Glen. Great little community along the American River in the eastern part of Sacramento. Great spot for me and my family. Love working with buyers and sellers in there. You can find out tons of information at my website, collegeglenrealestate.com. Now, this is a monthly video update I do. We're kind of in the end of March, beginning of April here, talking about the market. So let's see what closed in February, and then we'll talk about what's happening for the spring market, all right? So only three homes closed escrow in College Glen, and you know what? That happens from time to time. That's not a lot of sales. Really, this is showing what the market was in December and January because these houses got into escrow at that time and then closed in February. And December and January doesn't have a lot, a whole lot usually going on. So not too surprising. We don't have a ton of closings in February. Um, it was down quite a bit from January, January, like 10, I believe. And so uh, I expect probably see a higher number in March. Definitely as we get into April and May, we'll start seeing into the double digits, you know, low teens as closings per month, probably inventory is pretty low, but we'll probably at least see more closings happening. So um, as you can see, the market is continuing to chug along pricing wise. We've had, uh, we had one on La Riv in the mid 500s there, uh, Mary Brook 570, and then that one on Another one on Lottery of closing for 640. You can see they all went above list price. They all were in four, five, and six days on the market, selling for 102, 114, 104% over list price. So that's showing that there's low inventory, there's high buyer demand. And so when you price it right, it shows well, you got good marketing, you're gonna have success in a short period of time in this market right now. I just put one into escrow that will be closing later in March and we listed it. It had 13 offers. It went well above the list price and my seller is like, hey, this is wonderful. This was great. I love this. Let's get this closed. This is a wonderful market. So there's just not a lot of inventory in College Glen right now and because there's a lot of buyers that want to get in, it's buyer demand and low supply that creates that dynamic. We're seeing price, you know, things selling over list price. However, it doesn't mean you can just list it at whatever price you want. There have been some examples recently of some homes that have been sitting on the market because they came on at too high of a price and buyers are going, well, the market's already pretty wild and you're already up here. I'm gonna kinda let you do your thing over there and I'm gonna go focus on these that are listed accurately and I'm gonna compete over these, okay? So as a seller, you don't wanna be that one because now after seven, 10 days on the market, 12 days on the market, 15, 20 days on the market, buyers are going, hmm, must be something wrong with it. They're probably desperate. Why don't I lowball them? I'll negotiate a bunch with them and all that kind of stuff. Over here, when it's priced right, the buyers are competing with each other. They're making their offers as clean as possible and all those things. So as a seller, learn from this example. As a buyer, also pay attention. There could be a few properties out there that have been sitting don't just assume something's wrong. Assume they just made the mistake of starting too high and the market stayed away, all right? Now, moving forward, we've got a few dynamics going on. There's interest rates have been increasing. Gas prices are going up. War on the other side of the country, inflation, all that good stuff. So buyer demand's still pretty high, but those things are going to start affecting it eventually. Eventually, buyers are gonna say, I can only go so high you know, it's $100 to fill up my gas tank rather than 50 and those types of things. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic to watch as we move forward. At the moment right now, there's not a massive impact from that dynamic. There's subtle signs of it that maybe the insaneness, the craziness, the, the wildness of the market is maybe simmering just a little bit. But right now it is still competitive for buyers. 
There's just not a lot of inventory and it's favoring sellers right now. Sellers, you need to pay attention to that, price it right to make sure you have success right out of the gate, okay? Moving forward, I've got some stuff coming up in College Glen as well as nine five some other 95826 things and stuff like that. If you're looking to sell or to buy, reach out to me. I can get you dialed in on the right process to have success as a seller with a frictionless process from start to finish or to get you success as a buyer. I've got a formula for making that work with you as well too. I've got a solid track record of getting buyer's offers accepted, okay? So collegeglenrealestate.com. I hope you are doing wonderful. I look forward to talking with you soon, helping you with your real estate needs. College Glen is a great neighborhood. I look forward to talking to you then. Have a good one and clear skies.